Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a certificate to your device's trusted publisher store using Windows device configuration policies in Intune. Now, the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a self-signed certificate. But if you do have a certificate that you have purchased from a certificate authority, you can use that certificate and deploy it using Intune. But for this tutorial, since I do not have a certificate that I can use, I'm going to create a self-signed certificate. Something to bear in mind is self-signed certificates are usually recommended for testing purposes only. So if you're deploying a certificate to production, make sure that you have purchased a certificate from a trusted certificate authority. Now, there are multiple ways that you can create a self-signed certificate. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a self-signed certificate using Microsoft Office's self-signed certificate creation tool. Now, this is my test computer, and I've got Microsoft Office installed in the default location. So I'm going to open my file explorer, open my C drive, go to program files, Microsoft Office, click on root, click on Office 16. Now, one thing to keep in mind is depending on the version of your Microsoft, Microsoft Office, this location may differ slightly. Um, I will put a link in the YouTube description box so you can exactly find out where to look for to find this self-signed certificate creation tool if you're following along with me on the certification certificate creation part. So once you're in this folder location, search for the word self, hit enter, and you will find this self-cert executable, which we're going to use to create a self-signed certificate. Double click on it. All you have to do is give it a name. I'm just going to call it self-signed 2024. You can give it any name you like and click OK. That's it. You've created a self-signed certificate. Click OK. Now, by default, this get exported, this gets imported to your current certificate store, the current user's personal certificate store. I will show you how to find the certificate that we've just created now. So in your search box, type the word cert manager, C-E-R-T-M-G-R dot M-S-C and hit enter. Now this will open up your certificate manager console for the current user, so make sure where the mouse pointer is, it says certificate dash current user. Click on the personal folder, or you can expand it here. There you go. And this is the certificate that we just created. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to export this certificate. Right click on the certificate, click open, Go to details. Before we export it, we need to take a note of the thumbprint of the certificate. So just copy it to a notepad file. Okay, so this is the thumbprint which we have just copied from the certificate file. After that, click copy to file. Click next, select no, do not export the private key, select next, select base64 encoded x.509.cer, select next, and select the location where you want the file to be exported to. So I'm going to give it the same name, self-signed2024. Click Save. So this is the location where this certificate is gonna get exported. Make sure the extension is .cer and click Next. Click Finish. And the export has been successful. So click OK. 
Click OK to get out of it. Now we're going to go to our downloads folder. Now this is the self-sign certificate that we just downloaded. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open this using Notepad++. It is important that you use Notepad++ to open this. If you do not have Notepad++, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can download this before the start of this tutorial. So click just once and the certificate file will be open using Notepad++. So when you open the .sir file or the exported certificate, it's going to look like this. Now, one thing to note is there are some hidden spaces in this text, which we can't see. That is why I told you that we need to, we need to open this using Notepad++. So once you've opened it, go to View, Show Symbol, click Show All Characters. And these highlighted characters are the spaces. So what we need to do is we need to copy everything in between begin certificate and end of certificate. So the area that I'm highlighting now, so we need to copy all of this and keep it with us for future use in Microsoft Intune. So let's go ahead and get rid of the spaces. Okay, so I think it looks good. So we have taken off those spaces. Now I can see the whole text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing. Let me just try again. Okay, copy, and I'm going to put it on Notepad for future use. There you go. All right, so that is all as far as the certificate um, work goes. So now we've got all the information that we need. So we've got the certificate file here and we've got the thumbprint that we copied here. And now let's move over to Microsoft Intune and I'll show you how to deploy the certificate to your end user devices, trusted publisher store um, using Intune device configuration policy. All right, so I've logged into my Intune as the global administrator. This is my test tenant. So go to Devices, Windows, Configuration, Profiles, click Create, New Policy, select the platform, Windows 10 and later, Profile Type, click Templates, and select Custom. Click Create. Give it a user-friendly name. I'm going to call it Deploy Self-Signed Cert. You can call it anything you like. You can give it a description if you like. Click Next. Now, in here, OMA-URI settings, we're going to add one setting. So, the name can get this from here. Um, so I've just pre-populated these um, values for uh, this tutorial, but uh, you can give it any name you like. 
uh, make sure the URI, the OMA-URI is set to this value. This is what defines where you want the certificate to go to when you deploy it on the end user's device via this policy um, and keep it string. And for the value, we're going to just copy um, this value, which we copied from the .sir file. All right, so let's give it this name. I'll put all of this um, information in the YouTube description box below. So if you need it, you can copy it from there. So I've given it a name. Don't have to give a description. Um, now, it is important that you specify the correct URI, which is this one. I almost forgot. So I hope you remember we copied the thumbprint. So we need to put the thumbprint in here. So let me just delete this um, space holder and I'm going to copy the thumbprint which we copied and I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, there you go. Now it is good to be copied. Okay, I just minimized my notepad just to make it easy. Okay, so I have, let me just go ahead and copy it again. Okay, and the data type is string. And the value, this is the value that we copied from the certificate file or .cer or sir file which is in here. Now select all, control A, control C, and paste control V. That's it. Click save, click next. So since this is a test environment, I'm just going to apply to all devices, but in production, I recommend that you test this deployment with a subset of devices uh, and then deploy it to the entire organization. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all devices, go next, and create. So that's it, guys. So the policy has been created. Now it's a waiting game. This can take... Um, about 15 minutes to a couple of hours. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, pause this video um, and I will check on my test virtual machine, which is this one. I've got only one device in my test environment. So this is my test device, which is running on VMware, um, sorry, Oracle uh, VM virtual box. So after a while, I'm going to go ahead and check the certificate manager on this computer to make sure that that certificate that we just deployed has, in fact, been deployed to my test device. So um, let me pause the video. I'll keep an eye on it. Once it's been deployed successfully, I'll start the video and I'll show you um, and we can confirm that it has actually worked. Okay, guys, the device took a little while for the policy to um, sync. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it looks from the end user's device perspective. So this is my test um, virtual machine. Um, so let's open the certificate manager for the local computer this time. So cert lm.msc, click enter. Now, we have specified the folder that we want the certificate to be published or stored, uh, which was the trusted publisher certificate. So let's go ahead and open the certificates. There you go. As you can see here, the certificate has successfully been deployed to the trusted publisher's certificate store on the end user's device.
So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Everything that I used um, in this tutorial, I'll be putting in the YouTube description box below. So you can get that information from there. If you're not a subscriber yet, I'll really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments below. Take care guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.